You know, cooking is an art. It's like painting that beautiful picture, writing a lyrical song. So many different colors, so many different flavors, and each time you end up making something really beautiful. Welcome to a brand new episode of The Cookbook in association with Goody and Grandma Chakiata. I'm Pavitra Menon and with me is Chef Manoj. Like every single day we create a beautiful recipe here. Chef, I feel in this lovely culinary journey of mine so far, the different recipes have you created, different right. dishes for every occasion, right? Uh -huh. So today I feel that I can create something of my own from the way that you have done in my own kitchen. Right? Of course, all these recipes that I showed you Super are simple. so simple that you anyone can do it at home. Absolutely. So let's start with you first then. I think that we should start off with an appetizer today. We would do that then. What is it? Today on my mind is a summer roll. It's a very Vietnamese dish, yeah. but it's very simple so we can do it at home. Step 1 should be let's go for it. Let's start with it. Simple ingredients, right. super easy. Okay. So let me just explain the ingredients for you. Yeah. We got rice paper sheets mm -hmm. that is very readily available in the supermarkets. Yeah. Super thin, mm -hmm. very fine. All right. Yeah. Does it need to cook? It's edible, straight. I'll show you the exact method how to do that. So let's start with doing the glass noodles first. Okay. We'll just marinate the glass noodles. Exactly show you how. Take a small portion of it. Mm -hmm. A little more for two portions. Sure. I'm just going to drizzle a little salt over. Yeah. Just a little. A few drops of sesame oil. Ah, okay. So it has a very strong flavor, I guess. Mm -hmm. I've just put four drops of sesame oil. Sesame oil. This is the soya right. sauce. Light soya sauce. One teaspoon of or light soya sauce sure. right here. Mm -hmm. And I'll just mix it up. Okay. This is how you marinate the glass noodles, yeah? Correct. And I'm just going to keep it on the side for us to easy access. Mm -hmm. You can bring up the water for me. Sure. There just pour go. in the water on the side here, on this bowl. Completely? Yep, all of it. All of it, right? All of it, please. Yeah. Okay. So there let's grab the ingredients right in the front so that it's easy access for us. Sure. So to begin with. Colorful. <laughs> all I'm going to do is I'm going to mm. take the rice paper sheet. Oh, submerge it. Soak it one uh -huh. at a time. Okay. The reason, it soaks very fast, very quick, uh -huh. and when it's when it comes out from the water, mm. it's basically edible. It's ready to eat. Mm -hmm. I, I'm up. sure it's going to look See. like a very colorful appetizer from the look of it. It would be, it would be, because when it, it soaks up the water, sure. it's almost translucent. Oh yeah. But still holds the cover. Mm -hmm. So right here. Mm -hmm. if you want. Ah, you see that? right. right. Here we are, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna start off with the glass noodles right here. Sure. Oh, this is like a filling to the yes, rice exactly. paper. Yes, exactly. Yeah. A little more. So I'm gonna just take a little few few mango. Okay. It's a nice, colorful dish, actually. Mm -hmm. If you go to see, colorful spring roll for us, basically. Oh yeah. Right. So I'm just gonna fold it up. With the help of knife. Mm -hmm. Is it very delicate? It's very delicate, super delicate actually. I'm gonna roll it once. Okay. And then fill the rest of the layer with some mint leaves. Mint leaves, fresh mint leaves, mm -hmm. some coriander, some cucumber. Right. And spring onion, just one or two. Sure the tip of the spring onion and then we just pull it back again and we give it a roll collect all of that together here we go we have one ready right here i'm going to prep another one for you just dip it in mm -hmm. and i'll take it over from here like i said it takes only 30 seconds here just this whole rice paper the rice sheet that you're talking about right. what is it made of it's basically made of Everybody thinks that it's made of rice flour, but it's made of rice starch. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's what makes it really thin and translucent, correct, right? Correct. And instead of these vegetables that you've mixed in... Tell me, are you health conscious? I'm not. You're like, not. You okay. can obviously but see I are, eat anything and everything. There are a lot of people around that are very health conscious, so this right. be becomes a perfect snack. You, if, you, if you look at the ingredients and any, everything, 
There's no fat at all. Right. Right. Wow. I was just thinking that you know, instead of having just plain salads, you could have your salad with the dressing and nicely filled into the rice paper. Correct. Why not? Could be a good option. Heavy. We can even choose some prawns. Just the the process would be the same. Like we put this. We layer a couple of prawns here, right. and then we can do the same. Became uh, like a spring roll. Some mango slices again. Yes. With some carrots. Carrots. So I'm gonna just put a few more mango just for the color again. Mm. Tightly rolling it and wrapping it up. I'll just cut it into two. Okay. Perfect half. Okay. One. Wonderful. Two. So here we have the summer roll with sweet chili sauce. Absolutely delicious, crunchy vegetables rolled up in a paper. Rice paper. Rice paper, right here. We're going to be coming back with our main dish. Why don't you guys stay tuned right here? And I'm going to be trying this on. For the summer roll, we need half cup boiled glass noodles, salt to taste, four drops of sesame oil, one teaspoon light soya sauce. Mix and leave to marinate. Take rice paper sheets and soak them in water one at a time. Stuff the rice paper sheet with glass noodles, sliced mangoes, sliced carrots, two to three mint leaves, coriander leaves, sliced cucumber. One or two slices spring onion. Roll it and cut into half. Serve it with sweet chili sauce. Welcome back to the cookbook in association with Goody and Grand Milcha Kiyata. I'm Pavitra Menon, and with me is. Chef Manoj, back again. Yes, we are here to cook you some really interesting recipe. Yes, today as the mains we'll do a tuna toran. Tuna toran, I've heard yes. this name before. Toran <laughs> right. is usually a preparation from South of India, again from Kerala. Along on the side, we're gonna serve uh, some parathas. Kerala parathas. Kerala parathas. Typical, right. authentic Kerala parathas. Let's go for it. What's the first step, chef? So let's start by making the parathas. With right. the Grand Mil Chakiyata? For sure. Okay, let's get that for you. There you go, Chef. Are we ready to cut them off? And maybe into the glass bowl now? Right. So Let me know when to stop, yeah? 100 grams, 150 grams. Yeah, that's it. That's Plenty. It. Yes. Plenty. Okay. All right. Done. For which, I'm going to just add a pinch of salt. Mm -hmm. You may help me with the water, but slow pouring. Yeah? Okay. Keep mixing that then. And oops, there you go. Tell me when to stop. I'll be generous. Yeah, that's it. Stop for the moment. Okay. Moon. And the best thing about um, Grand Mills Chucky Atta, it's freshly ground in a stone mill right here in the UAE. So that makes it really fresh. It's really soft and the rotis or whatever that you make, whether it's paratha, roti, chapati, it comes out absolutely delicious. And so I would like to add that the texture of the, the, the flour mm. is very unique, it's very versatile. Drizzle a little more water to it, please, if you don't mind. And there's a lot of layering involved in paratha. I will show you exactly how we do that, all right? Do you need some more water, chef? No, that'd be all for me. Okay. And as we prepare the dough, do we heat the pan or that will happen? No, not yet, later? not yet, not okay. yet. Because uh, this is a bit lengthy process, like I told you. Now, mm -hmm. as the dough is firm and nice, actually, okay. ready, let's do the rolling of this. So here we are in a process to make Kerala parathas. And the thing is, the technique of making Kerala parathas is very intricate, right? Yes, like it's, it's a little bit. different actually, that's all I can say. It's not a, a too much of a hard work, but it's simple, but need to be unique, that's all. Mm -hmm. huh? Time taking. I'm, I'm just trying to get it as thin as possible. Yes. You'll see the exact reason why as well. Mm. So let me just finish it. Only then you can stretch it or something. I've seen people right. doing that. It's a bit messy process, I'm just gonna 
is what happens. Just a good layer of oil uh -huh. and a bit of flour right in the middle. Lovely. Just sprinkle. Mm -hmm. Now, right, mm -hmm. and here we go. This is what it depends. Now we're gonna take this, mm -hmm. and this became our. This is the process basically. You see the layers there. Ah. Just stretch it and you put it back. Okay. And there we have. Okay. Mm. And right here. Mm -hmm. Let's prep two. Okay. So basically we have to like hold them together and make folds. Yes. And then roll you it. Just basically fold it together so that you form layers. Yeah. And you just roll it up. Pretty simple actually. And that's the reason I was telling you the shape of the do doesn't matter. I mean when we are rolling it, Correct. it doesn't matter. And see, there we are. Two of our rolls are ready for the coin paratha, and right. the next step will be the torin. Let's go for the torin then, right? Yeah, the tuna torin. Yeah. And what's the first step, chef? We'll just start off by pouring some oil. Sure. To the heat, and mm -hmm. when the oil is starting to get heated up. So once the oil is heated up in yes. the pan, we'll, we'll do start the with the mustard seeds. seeds. Yes, please. And the mustard seeds are ready to go in. Right. And there we go. Some curry Pop. leaves. Mm -hmm. Onions go straight away. This is about one onion. One clove of garlic, fine chop. The aroma. Mm, there you go, mustard seeds, curry leaves. Coconut oil. One and a half teaspoon of ginger. Some fresh green chili chopped. Fresh green chili chopped. Let me take it over. Take a couple of minutes here. I don't need the onions to be basically brown. Mm. Golden brown or brown. I'm just gonna take it. The till freshness the of the onion has to be there, correct. right? Correct, correct. Just turmeric powder. Just uh, say one third of a teaspoon. I garam masala. Use the Again the same. Mm -hmm. One third of a teaspoon and half a teaspoon of chili powder. Chili powder. I love the smell. Great. So wh why don't you just go ahead and hand me over the tuna? Yeah. You know, the best part is, this is like the middle part of the tuna, right? Right, Very correct. tender, very correct. soft, fresh. And to add on to it, like I told you, this is basically 90% fat free. Oh, wow. Right? So here goes the tuna. The goody tuna for you right here. In goes the beans. Mm-hmm. I'll just... Like two tablespoons of beans. Beans is something which is very, very important a, in a torin. Correct. Half carrot, pinch of salt. I'm going to just lightly salt Lovely. it because the tuna is always a salted fish, basically. Right. Just a bit of crackle. Pepper. Pepper. Oh. Just give me a second. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. I like that, how you flip it. Uh -huh. I'm just going to break it, it a bit here yeah? mm -hmm. and just bring it to the middle. And all I'm going to do is add ah. our last bit. Coconut. Tablespoonful of grated coconut. Lovely. Give it a good stir. Yeah. So coconut always goes in the end, no chef? Correct. Of all the dishes. Correct, correct. Before I garnish it, I'll just turn off the heat. Sure. And I'll start making our coin porattas. Yeah. So I'm just going to go ahead and dust Grand mill chakiata right. on my rolling pin. Okay. And here we go. I'm just gonna dip the coin paratha. The coin paratha or the Kerala paratha here. Okay. I think it's coming out perfect. Uh huh. If you notice, I'm not gonna put any oil here because I have enough oil here right now. Right, definitely. So, till the time it's cooking, I'm gonna roll the second one and keep it ready. Sure. There you go, a second one. You wanted a perfect round here, all right. I think we're done now, no? With the yes, parathas? Yes, correct. We'll See, it's nice and golden. Put that Right here. Cook nicely, evenly. Mm -hmm. Bit of crunch. To 
serve the toren in it. Right in the middle of the bowl? Yes. Just a spoon more right. and that's it. So here we have the tuna toren with Kerala paratha. I think it's a burst of flavors inside and I can't wait to try it. Why don't we take a break? Sure. Come back. I'm going to dig into this uh, toren, which is a tuna toren. Right. And we're going to be back with a dessert as well, a sweet treat for all of you. Stay tuned. For sure. For the tuna thorin, we need 2 tablespoons oil, 1 teaspoon mustard seeds, few curry leaves, 1 chopped onion, 1 clove chopped garlic, 1 and a half teaspoon ginger, 1 teaspoon chopped green chilli, 1 third teaspoon turmeric powder, 1 third teaspoon garam masala, half teaspoon chilli powder, 1 tin guri light meat tuna in brine water, 2 tablespoons chopped green beans, half chopped carrot, pinch of salt, crush of black pepper, 1 tablespoon grated coconut, stir like Lightly and cook. For the Kerala parathas, we need 150 grams Grand Mills Chakiata, a pinch of salt. Knead the flour with water into a dough. Roll out a bowl of dough. Spread a bit of oil and dust it with flour. Cut the roti into half. Fold the flat dough to form layers and roll it into a round shape again. Roll out the dough balls into parathas. Cook in a flat pan. Serve the tuna thorin with Kerala parathas. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for? Ice cream. Absolutely. Welcome back to the cookbook in association with Goody and Grand Mills Chakiata. I'm Pavitra Men and we have? Chef Manoj here. And what's the flavor? We are going to do a peanut butter ice cream today. Peanut butter ice cream. For which I'm going to use the Goody peanut butter. Let's start off for this recipe. We will start off with the cream. Basically, I got 500 ml of cream over here. Right. It's a heavy cream. I'm just gonna pour the cream. Sure. Right here. Take this out for me. I'm just gonna start off slow and then increase the speed. speed I'll just need it fully fluffy. Right. All right. Go you, for you it. can have a look at the the consistency already later. Yeah. Wow. This takes about. Three to five minutes maximum. Like what if they don't have the blender at home? Can they use a blender like a normal mixy blender no. kind of a thing? No, uh, for, for, the, for the whipped cream, yeah. you always use a hand blender or a whisk because when you put it in a, in a jar blender, mm. the cream tends to split. Oh, right. that's the thing. Okay. Mm. Looks really good, very rich. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna just keep this on the side. Yeah. Our cream that is whipped already. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take another bowl. Yeah, and this is 700 ml of uh, condensed milk. Condensed milk. Let's say 500 to 700 ml. Okay. Condensed milk, and there is no other sweetener that we are going to use here. Right. If you don't mind, can you hand me the goody peanut butter? Sure. So we are going to put three tablespoons of the goody peanut butter. Right. We're going to mix these ones up now. Right? Yeah. And that's the consistency I was looking for. Looks perfect. Would you just mind giving me a plate? All right. So this is our next step mm -hmm. of incorporating things. Okay. Basically, mm -hmm. 
I have a very good aerated whipped cream here. Okay. So I don't want to spoil it. So I'm not just going to beat it again. Right. So I'm going to fold things here. Okay. All right? Okay. So I'm just going to take a little of the chopped peanuts here that right. I, I have roasted it freehand and I've just chopped it fine, basically. Crushed it. Okay. I can say. So we're going to fold in the cream here, wow. basically. You've got the peanut butter, yeah. the condensed milk and Correct. the whipped cream together being folded very nicely. Let me tell you about peanut butter that we've used here. The best part is it's made with freshly roasted peanuts, the goody peanut butter and uh, it's rich in magnesium, proteins and a lot of vitamins. So it's got an amazing nutritional value. Uh -huh. There you go chef, ready? Yes, almost ready. Folding it in, yes. I can see the off-white, the beige colour mixing in and these right. are the earthy colours that I like. Especially with the ice cream, it's going to look fantastic. Fantastic. When mm. it cools down, when it chills, it freezes. See, it's, it's light and irritated and see the fold wow. that falls I off. love the texture. And now it's time to bowl it. That's it? So, yes. Was it simple? Super simple. I mean, Would you make days, it at home then? The thing is, that's the point. We don't really make ice creams at home anymore. Uh, but I think this is a better reason to do this because it's simple. We all usually depend on those ice creams that we go out and buy. And I think it's a better option. For sure. And then we freeze it, right? Yes. If you need any help, let me know. Yeah, sure. Would you mind just holding the bowl for me? Sure, sure. Easy. Yeah. yeah. Mmm, a nice layer of that. You ready to put it in? Yes. And how long does it take? We're going to freeze it for a minimum of a four to six hours. Oh, wow. Nice. All right. So I'll, let me just I'll wait for it. <laughs> put it in the freezer now. Yeah. All set? It's in the freezer, let it set. Mm -hmm. We've kept right. some water for boiling here, no chef? Yes, that is for uh, scooping out the ice cream. I'll show you exactly how to make a quenelle from the ice cream. Okay, right? let's do it. Alright, so let's prep some garnish. Mm -hmm. So, as you see, our garnishes are ready. Yeah. So I didn't want you to wait too long, you know. So I had pre-made the ice cream and I had right. kept it in the freezer. So let me bring that out. Sure. Right. I wouldn't mind the weight, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you can just put that on top. What is that? Quenelle. It's a shape, basically. Quenelle, okay. Quenelle. Before the quenelle, let me just garnish this a little bit. Right. I just need a few pieces under. Yeah, it's easy, basically. Put the cut ones. Yes. Nice and colorful. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Start from here. Oh wow, scooping that little layer out. Here we go. Right? Right. And all you do is... I don't know what you did with that. What is that called? Ice cream <laughs> has made the, the, the spoon frozen. So that's the reason I was using a hot spoon and with the ha warmth of my hand, just for the ice cream to slide out. That's right. the reason I'm just rubbing it and giving it a little warm. That little rub that you give. So is it uh, for the ice cream to slide out? Yes, exactly. Some peanuts. Spring. These are the roasted peanuts. The roasted crushed peanuts, right? Mm-hmm. And just a drizzle of the roast syrup. Mm. And then yeah. Looks mind-blowing. Maybe with us some fruits here and there. There we go. So here we have the peanut butter ice cream for you. This looks mind-blowing, Chef. I mean, I never thought ice creams can be made at home. The, those things that we actually buy from outside, simple steps, completely delicious, mouth-watering, and I'll tell you something. All of these recipes that you've made out here, Chef, it's been amazing. Thank okay. you. It was a, a pleasure to bring salute. it to you. In fact. A big salute to you and I'm sure all of them are going into my personal cookbook. With that, I hope all of you have enjoyed all the recipes that we have shared with you. He is Chef Manoj and my name is Pavitra Men. and with that, we come to the end of our episode right here. You're watching The Cookbook in association with Goody, Amazing Everyday and Grand Mills Chucky Atta. Ishke Bacon.
For the peanut butter ice cream, we need 500 milliliters heavy cream. Whip the cream with a blender until fluffy. In another bowl, take 700 milliliters condensed milk, 3 tablespoons goody peanut butter. Mix together. Fold in the mixture into the whipped cream. Add 1 tablespoon chopped roasted peanuts. Transfer in a dish and freeze for 4 to 6 hours. Scoop out the peanut butter ice cream. And garnish with fresh berries, roasted peanuts and rose syrup.